Well, good afternoon. This is your Friday message that I'm actually recording on Thursday. You might notice that I'm dressed up today, and that's because I've just come from uh, hosting a Uncommon Leadership lunch with prominent criminal defense attorney Ricky Kleeman. It was a wonderful uh, conversation that I had with her. As you know, I uh, record and transcribe, have it transcribed, and Hope to use elements of that maybe later in the course. It was a very good day, but that's the reason why you see me a little bit looking a little bit different today. Let me uh, do a, uh, a brief uh, recap uh, of Straight Talk and then a little bit of an introduction to uh, uh, to next week. Uh, this uh, this message is not intended to shut down the uh, your conversations but just to give you a, just a little bit of my thoughts first of all <clears throat> excuse me uh, straight talk is tough it is very very uh, difficult you know as kids um, we don't know better and so we're straight all the time uh, and then somehow part of the maturing process is to learn to hold back back things for not knowing what the effect is of what we might say. And so, um, and that carries us forth into adulthood. So it's very difficult. If it wasn't difficult, it, I wouldn't have a week in this course. Um, and uh, you all would be uh, masters and probably teaching me about this. But in any case, I want to let you know that it is not easy. It requires work, and it requires continuous work. Just because it exists for some period of time doesn't mean that it's going to continue to exist. Um, it's a breath of fresh air when it exists, and, and in fact, it's quite liberating. Those of you that are in an environment that feel that you can be straight with the people around you and they're straight with you, can attest to that. Now, just in general, as we looked at the this week's discussion, you saw I was a little bit more active. Rather than sit back and just let you talk, I jumped in every now and then and tried to provoke the discussion. I actually still, still don't think that we're at where I would like to be and maybe not where you'd like to be in these discussions. Uh, if we were all in the same room together, I think it would have a very different feel and flavor. To me, it's a little bit more reporting uh, rather than a discussion. So uh, I'm going to ask you some questions at the end of this to see how we can improve that. Uh, you saw that I like to push people. Uh, I actually hope that you re-examine your beliefs. <clears throat> as a result of the course, and in particular this week, about straight talk. You know, what, what are some of your grounded beliefs, and can you challenge some of those beliefs of why they exist, and what can you do to take action uh, with the people around you and encourage the people around you to be more straight? Uh, that's that's my, uh, my hope for, for this module. I'm going to have some written thoughts tomorrow. Uh, on this, and I actually have uh, quite a few written thoughts that I want uh, want to share with you, but that will come uh, tomorrow as part of uh, an end of week announcement. Now let's talk about week four briefly on trust. Virtually everybody mentioned trust as a necessary ingredient for straight talk. You know, if you don't have trust in an organization or among uh, among sub organizations or among people it is very, very uh, uh, difficult to be straight. I actually find it very difficult to even work. Uh, but trust is a, it can be an amorphous word. What do we mean by trust? And how do we actually establish it? Uh, and how do we reestablish it once it's broken? Uh, based on the straight talk discussion, I'm going to rethink how I want to run the trust discussion for this week. So the discussion guide that you see there, I'm probably going to change on Saturday. Uh, so don't, you can do the readings over the weekend, uh, but don't, uh, uh, don't start the discussion until I, I give you a signal that uh, I've come up with a new discussion. 
few other topics. Uh, I am in the process of posting the grades for week two discussion. I am sorry that it's taken me some time. I lost the weekend because I went out to Ann Arbor. Um, and for each of you, I'm going to try to make comments on your postings. Uh, I may not make a comment on each individual uh, posting. And the comment may appear as a question that I want you to think about, that I think you might think about, uh, but the question doesn't need to be responded to. It's, uh, it's really food for your thought. Uh, over this weekend, <clears throat> I'm hoping to be able to uh, grade the week three discussion as well as the assignment, uh, but if I don't get to it all this weekend, I'll have it done by the beginning of next week. Now, I have a requ request for you, and this is back to uh, the comment I made that I don't think we're there with our discussions yet. Uh, I'd like each of you to send me an email to the gmangurian at frontierworks.com email address and just give me a brief, how's the course going for you so far? Uh, what would you like more of and what would you like less of? So how's it going? What would you like more of? What would you like less of? And finally, is there a specific area of leadership that you personally would like to use this course to help in your development. Uh, if I know that, I know where people's sort of locus is, it will help me uh, with my comments back to you and with some of the coaching that I might do, to you, do with you during the course. Well, that's it for the uh, Friday message. Uh, good luck in week three, and I will talk to you next Friday.